Our next contestant is Craig McGregor. Please welcome Craig. Thank you very much. The title of Craig's speech is The Joy of Shopping. <laughs> With the joy of shopping, Craig McGregor. Contestant Chair, ladies and gentlemen, my wife is a very beautiful woman, yet I still have trouble figuring out what happens when she gets in front of a mirror. One evening I sit at home waiting for her to get into bed, she's up there parading in front of the mirror. My legs are too short, my bum's too big, and everything else ain't up where it's supposed to be. Say something positive. <laughs> well, your eyesight's still good. <laughs> you see, men just think differently, don't we? And it's a bit like that when we go shopping. When I go shopping, I go shopping with my spotlight. I need a pair of jeans, I go to a jean shop, I try them on, I buy them, and we go home. And she says, what do you bring me for? Good question. But there's a purpose to my tactic, because when she goes shopping, she goes shopping with her floodlights, and the whole shop is lit up. And we have to try everything on, repeating that process in shop after shop until I'm a zombie. Are you with me, guys? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm thinking, what'd you bring me for? But she's got a tactic. Freight and haulage. <laughs> And it was exactly like that last time we shopped in Blenheim, when we were on holiday. We were in shop number 44, <laughs> just about to go into shop number 55. And like the perfect gentleman I am, I opened the door for her. She walks by, floodlights on, bye bye, see you in another life. And I just walk in past the door. Well, soon the shop assistant comes up to me. She says, are you all right? I go, yes, thank you. She says, why don't you come over to the changing room and sit down? It looks like your wife's here for the long haul. <laughs> okay. And I walk on over to the changing room. And there's this long chair. I look around. And I think to myself, if there was a sign behind it, it would say, all idiots sit here. <laughs> I check it out for wiring. Doesn't look like it's going to kill me yet. And I sit myself down. Oh, oh, looks like a bad place for a guy. But I check it out. Man, it's a busy little area. Let me explain. Right beside me, I've got a full length mirror. So I've got my own catwalk. <laughs> Off to the left is three of those changing rooms. Those ranch style ones, where you can see their heads above and their hooves, I mean their feet below. <laughs> After a few more minutes, that same shop assistant comes up to me. She says, are you all right? When men go into a woman's shop, do we all look like we're 90 and wearing nappies? <laughs> are you all right? I go, yes, thank you. But I've got a few suggestions. <laughs> She said, what's that? Well, I wouldn't mind a nice couch so I can relax. What about a couple of magazines so I can read some stories? What about a flat screen television with New Zealand whites being Bahrain? What a great idea. Wouldn't that be good? I'll be as happy as Larry. My wife, she's out in your shop. She's spending all our money and she's happy as Larry. She looks at me and she says, you're a nice man. I went, yes. You're very observant. <laughs> but back to my catwalk. As I said, it was a busy little area. And I'm just sitting there trying
trying to be inconspicuous, spotlight focused firmly forward. But it's deja vu. Every woman coming down my cat work is secretly thinking, my legs are too short, my bum's too big, and everything out ain't, ain't up where it's supposed to be. And there's this little voice in the back of my head saying, tell them something positive. <laughs> The next lady down my catwalk, she's quite attractive actually. She walks on down, checks herself out. She looks at me for advice and I go, uh-uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> she checks herself back out. She looks at me and she says, you're right. And she walks off back to the cubicle. <laughs> More clothes are delivered. But pretty soon she's back out, and this time she looks fantastic. So I give her the thumbs up, and I go, those colours, they go marvellously with your eyes. <laughs> and she flashes me a smile, the cheeky hussy. <laughs> and she floats back off to the cubicle. You see guys, it's all about connection. Say something positive. Well pretty soon she's back on out. She's tucking herself in, and this time I confidently say, the trousers look great, but the top, mm-mm, just not you. <laughs> she looks at me rather sternly, she says, these are the clothes I was wearing when I came in here. <laughs> well, I start feeling a bit nauseous, the eyes are rolling back in my head. I can see that sign behind me, and it's flashing, is it? It says, you're an idiot! <laughs> And out of the corner of my eye, I can see that damn shop assistant, and she's looking at me and going, you're all right. I'm going, you know. <laughs> and just to top it off, my wife comes out of the yen cubicle. She's a pretty snappy dresser, actually. But this time, she's tried on something that's absolutely hideous. <laughs> she walks on down, looks at me lovingly, and she says, babe, what do I look like in this? <laughs> and I utter some words and she smacks me in the mouth <laughs> with a kiss. Yeah. She says, You look awesome too, babe. <laughs> I'm no idiot. This, my friends, is the joy of shopping. Now I wonder if there's another shop. Yes, there is. Hang on, dear. <laughs> Contest chair. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Craig. The customary one-minute silence for the judges, please.